Are you ready? No. Are right, you ready? Oh, okay. I'm really talking about Fabian's virginity. Shut up. <laughs> Are you ready? What a great topic. That's like, that's what I hate. <laughs> the intro. So you don't hate saying hi. Start. Don't make me start. <laughs> so let's just start, say that because remember last time you're like, hey, Layton, take it away. Oh yeah, cool. This is your podcast. Maybe you take it away. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Welcome back, yo. <laughs> I, didn't, I, just, I didn't mean to do that at the same time as you. I literally had like a poking stick and I just was just like, oh, well, let me just piss him off for a second. And you did it at the same time. Wow. Well, welcome back to the postcast. I'm the postman and I'm here with Leighton and Fabian. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So today, we don't really have anything particular to talk about, but I have a few uh, questions that I want to ask you guys, both together and individually. Some are more aimed uh, at like either one of you individually, and some are, some are like a group question to discuss with all of us. So I'm going to start off with uh, the first one, and this one more applies to Leighton um, for uh, the simple reason that I'll... Uh, Fabian isn't in a relationship, but I just, I uh, we will we will adjust the question when we get to late uh to Fabian. Very nice. Yeah. Um. So first off, how often should you text your significant other? Do you think? I would. I would believe. All right. All right. Let let picture this. Right. So you're on a night out. All right. You're with the boys. Yep. Right. Would you say, how often would you say you text your phone? Because for me, right, I'd say like every time, well, I reckon like if I'm leaving or say we're going to see a movie, right, I might text my girlfriend and be like, hey, I'm about to go into the movie now. Probably won't be able to text you. I'll update you once we're out. And then I'll text her again once we're out. And then maybe as we're like eating dinner, because we normally get dinner after or before, it depends. And and then like maybe once when I'm home, just to say like, hey, I'm I'm home safe kind of thing. That's me personally. What about you, Leighton? Well, it's different with me because you know you Facetime a lot. All all uh, girlfriends are very different. Uh, this all, is true. Uh, not girlfriends, women. Uh, and you know I was uh, I was fortunate enough to be with one of the clingy ones. Uh, well, maybe that's enough. not the right. Maybe that's not the right thing. Oh look, I've walked ten thousand paces. Oh, good job. Anyway, um, I would say that. In the relationship that I'm in, it would probably be we probably FaceTime. She FaceTimes me every time she finishes work. Uh, she FaceTimes me as like basically as much as you can. As soon as she knows that I'm online or like I have my phone out, she will try and FaceTime me. There's nothing wrong with that. I appreciate that she always wants to talk to me. It means that she always does what like has wants to talk to me. But me personally, I would believe it's the same thing you said because. I I'm just I don't really need a big conversation. I just need to tell him, hey, I'm out. Hey, I'm coming home soon. Yeah. Hey, I'm doing this, and then I'll come home. But if I'm with the boys, then obviously let me have the time with the boys because yeah. because she lives with me. Yeah, you don't you don't want to be on your phone too much because you want to be in the moment kind of thing. Like to think about the people and, you're around with. Exactly, because then you're just the antisocial motherfucker that's on his phone twenty four seven. Exactly. What about you, Fabian? Would you say, say you're talking to a girl, right? Say you're chatting up new chick, and say you like really like her. Would you do? Do you feel like you'd constantly be texting her, even even if you were out with the boys, or would it be like the same deal? Because say say she's texting you heaps, she's blowing up your phone. Are you replying to that, or are you like, oh, kind of waiting in between? I don't have anyone, okay, but <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Like if she's blowing up my phone, if she's blowing up my phone and texting me heaps, then I'm gonna like send her a text saying like I'm out right now. Like I took this time, I went out with my friends because I want to spend time with them. It's like I will text you once we're on our way home, and then like you and me can spend time together. But if I'm out with you guys, then I'm out with you guys. I'm not gonna be going out with you guys and be like, oh, hang on, guys, I want to check out my girlfriend. Because then that's there's no point in going out with you guys if I'm just gonna be on and off. Because we're not gonna all have a good time in the end. Yeah, that's fair. I'd say as well like. Especially with um, earlier relationships, you you're more likely to be like, I don't know, I don't want, I don't want to say, yeah, I don't want to say like clingy, but you might pre even if you are out with people, you might prefer to like talk to them. You might like, be extra. like, you might say some like, I don't know, some extra extra stuff, some extra details. You're like, oh, I know we're going to the movies, but 
I want to tell her how the movie was kind of thing. That's very true. That's very true because I I am very different from the start of when I started dating her. How I, so? As in like, I was probably the same as she is now. She just hasn't changed about like not clingy, but like I just always FaceTime her as much as I can. I just, I don't know, spend, wouldn't care about assignments or anything because I dated her through school and I would just try to be with her. But now it's just like, I have a life as well, do do. You also live with her, so. Yeah, so it's kind of different now. I'm just yeah. getting more mature, I guess. You say that you still FaceTime just as much, even though you are you live together or less? Oh, yeah. No, definitely the same. Just, oh, really? just because she, yeah what, oh yeah because I, like i said like she literally facetimes me as like as soon as she finishes work i just slept in the same bed as fabian <laughs> oh word <laughs> oh word all right why do i have a house but you're in my house fabian oh he slept in my bed brother i don't know which house is, is this one? uh well now he's got more relationship advice or now he's got more he can talk about dude that was such a good night <laughs> um nah she i don't know every time she finishes work she calls me Anytime she does anything, anytime she even is just to show me, like instead of just like taking a picture on Snapchat, she will just FaceTime me to show me. Fair enough. So, yeah. What you yeah, prefer that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it for her. Yeah, that's fair. Is that like in this instance right now? Like, if you got a call, you'd prefer a text. Like right now, in the middle of this. Yeah. Like, say, say right oh, now. If she tried to call me, I think I just leave it. So you wouldn't answer it. Yeah. Would you, would you get in trouble? No, I just explained to her why I didn't answer. Oh, that's fair enough. It's not like a trouble thing, all right? I'm not a baby boy. <laughs> I, I ain't, I wear the pants. <laughs> I just, I just like to be thoughtful and I will tell her. And if she doesn't like it, then boo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully so? she's not listening to this. Uh, whoa, because, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, everything's okay i love everything she does for me and uh, i really hope that she keeps calling me <laughs> okay okay so i have i have another question all right and this is this is kind of in the same boat of like relationships um so i want to ask both of your opinion and this is a complete hypothetical all right so i'm going to use i'm going to use fabian as an example that's how much of a hypothetical it is no no offense fabian um, oh, here we go. <laughs> but say, say for example, and this is this. I want to hear you first, Leighton. My say, first, right? yeah, I want to hear your point first. Say for example, Fabian has a girlfriend, and we find out that he has cheated on her, which he would never do. We know this. None of us would ever do. Fabian, especially, very good. This makes very me sound like boy. a bad person. That's why I want to reiterate: would never do. Oh, okay. Um, no, I believe but, you. But. But say say he does, and he finds out, or uh, I mean, we find out. He tells us, or you know, we just we just see like some texts or something. You know, w what would you do? What would you do if you found out that Fabian had cheated on his girlfriend? Like just uh, so initially, he's just told me what would I do with that information? Yeah, like are you are you keeping it a secret? Are you telling his misso? You know, what's the what's the point of action? Because like he's your boy, but. You know, I want to hear your morals. Well, I think it's not my business. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, no, as much as that sounds bad, like, that ain't my business. If he does it and he tells me, I would just probably tell him off. But that's up to him to tell his woman, not me. That's his business. Fair enough. I'm not going to, like, like, I'm not going to ruin my friendship because he was an idiot. Would you, would you think less of it? Like, would it ruin your friendship with him? It would ruin my friendship, but I yeah, obviously I'd think different. I'd think differently, and I would cuss him out, and I would tell him he's a head, like I already do. Uh, and it would just obviously I'd tell him off for it because obviously you don't do that. Would you tell but, him that he needs to tell his miso? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, I would say that because, like I said, it's not like I don't know. I feel like it's just you got to man up. You got to like you know face your, what your mistakes. Yeah, that's fair you gotta, enough. You gotta, you know, I'm not your little fucking guardian angel. I'm not your little fucking, yeah, fucking, what do you call it? Messenger pigeon? Yeah. Yeah, word. Yeah, word. Was it the, the angel on your shoulder kind of thing? Angel and I devil? Mean, I could be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, Fabian. Anyway. anyway. Fabian, your, uh, your point of view. Say, for example, um if like Leighton joins the call you know we're playing a game he joins and he's like boys 
you know, I've just I've just done something terrible. I just I was out with some of my old high school mates, and this chick was there, and and and, 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 just, and, I and just, I bro. and we did some stuff, and I I don't know what to do. What what is your instant like reaction to that? Uh dude, I don't <laughs> even. I, he would moan. I, I, nah, I don't even. I don't know. It definitely, obviously, like cheating is serious, but I don't know. I'd probably talk about everything because I know if you'd like do something like that, I feel like you'd be like freaking out and stuff. So I'd probably just talk to you about it. I don't know. Try and calm you down first, but then in the end, it would be best if I tell you to go and tell that person what you've done, and I'll come with you if it makes you more comfortable. But in the end, you do have to tell the truth and say what happened. Yeah, I I agree. I feel like it's one of those things where you really have to insist on like telling the friend like, "Hey, you need to tell like your significant other like ASAP." As much as you don't want to say it, like I feel it's gonna be worse if you don't say anything because that's just gonna like eat you on the inside and you're just not gonna be able to like rest or like think properly because that's gonna be in the back of your head all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, I'm... What about you? Yeah, I'd I'd insta- I'd probably call you both out. I think I'd. I wouldn't text Amiga, but I, I'd be like, "Oi, if you if you don't tell her by tonight, I'm Snapchatting her right now that you did it," kind of thing. Yeah, because that's like I wouldn't. I feel like I wouldn't actually, but I that'd be that like sentiment to be like, "Oh shit!" Like, yeah, I, I really need to ASAP then, because like the longer you go off, the worse it is. Because and and like you know, you never know. Like the next day, she could buy you like this insane gift, and you're like, oh, I literally just cheated on you, and now you've given me this insane gift or whatever. You don't know what could happen, and you don't know how much worse or how much harder it could be. Because like something, something as simple as a gift the next day could be like, ah, oh, maybe I'll wait a bit because she'll be so much more pissed than yeah. if you if you had have just said it like right then and there putting it off then it'd probably just get worse and worse exactly exactly and then if you told her straight away compared to if you told her like three weeks later it's gonna be a massive difference like reaction wise yeah yeah i agree but moving on from sad tones uh, um lighter topics lighter topics still still involving relationships uh i want to know you guys thoughts on pda oh that is pda is is public display of affection so kissing in public you know hugging in public just just acts of of romance in a public setting surrounded by people so in the in this instance uh for example say we're out and it's you me Leighton and his girlfriend and we're say we're eating food right and it's you and me on one side and Leighton and Tamika on the other side and they just start going to town at each other's faces, right? <laughs> going to town. How how would that make you feel? Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm not really too fussed about it. Like That's their thing going on. So I'm just, I'm not going to get involved in that. You don't care about PDA? Yeah, no, I don't, actually. Because it's just, it just shows that they love each other. That's fine with me. Fair enough. What if it was, like, people you didn't know? They're like, like I said, the <clears throat> for if it's Leighton's wise is my friend, that's fine with me. Like they're in love, but like if it's someone else, like that's none of my business. Like they're allowed to do it. Like it's not illegal. Yeah, that's so fair, if that's you fair. love, if you're if you love someone, you're happy with them. It's so if they just like started whoa, finger allowed. banging each other, <laughs> all right, come come back from the mic a bit. <laughs> so if they just started finger banging each other in front of you, you'd be fine with it. I would walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that. But well, Fabian, but you gotta mind your business. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm walking away, giving them privacy. I'd watch. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Bro, it's free. Nah, nah, you messed up for that. <laughs> Porn is free too. Nah, uh, some. Hey, if you want the right shit. <laughs> oh no, you cuck. Uh, <clears throat> I think that gives my answer. Yeah, no true. So, so if you it, wait, so same thing. If you saw like me and my girlfriend making out across the table nah, from you, I, yeah, no, I'm yeah. No, I'm different. I'm different. I'd say what the. F- I would literally talk to you in your face and be like, "Hey, can you like not like?" I, I'd be straight up. I'd be like, "I'm trying to eat food here, and I don't want to see you guys snogging." I think I, I think both are valid. I think it 
in my opinion, it's a, a certain extent. Like if you're, if it's just a quick peck or like a, a hug, you know, it's oh, fine. Oh no, I'd hate you for that. But if it's a full on like make out, like there's a, definitely a line. And once it's like cross, it's like, okay, I'm uncomfortable. Nah, anything you do in front of me? Nah, I'm not allowed. What if it's to you? Huh? <laughs> huh? God, I'm fishing, bro. I can't, I'm focusing. Nah, I feel the same as what you said. Yeah, okay. Well, well, how do you how do you fish? Not telling. Oh, anyway. okay, cool. <laughs> Did you craft a fishing rod? I don't know how to craft. Oh wait, no, you go down to the beach. You go to the beach and talk to old man Willie. Ooh. Yeah, I could do oh, that. Oh, the crow. Which leads me to I actually I, I wanted to ask another thing. I mean, I've already talked about it, but get out of my I, bed. All right, I'll, I'll hop in bed. Sorry, 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 sorry. He needs to get out of my bed right now. I don't, I don't fling that way, right? Can you scooch out? But it's so dark outside. All right, fair enough. Hey, what were you saying, Jack? <laughs> um, so speaking of all this relationship talk, Fabian, first time asking a girl out, go. I want a story time. I haven't. You've never asked a girl out. Nope. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yep. You never like approached a girl. No, it's not impossible to not ask a girl out, right? All right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, he's got king energy. The women come to him, man. He's, oh. They obviously they're not ex they're not acceptable to him yet, and like he doesn't need hoes. You, but you've definitely had like a crush before, yeah. Yeah. And you've never pursued that, or have they pursued you? Nope. Oh, all right. Well, that's the end of that, I guess. Uh, Later. <laughs> Moving on. I don't know. The what? first chick you asked out was it? Success or rejection? Do you want me to paint the picture? Paint the picture. I want a story uh, time. I want a story time? Yeah. Uh, so, I remember the first time... Well, there's two... I mean, not two first times. Obviously, there's no such thing as two first times. But one I don't really count. It was like year six, so that doesn't count. Because that's just children. Uh, but I remember in Stop year going, nine... Hold on, hold on. Restart. Stop going back and forth You in front of your mind. I was grabbing a drink. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine then. I remember it was this girl I liked in year seven and I was too shy to talk to her and I found out anyway that this girl had a uh, uh, like had a boyfriend or some shit in year seven so obviously I didn't like I'm just like back at that age I'm like oh my god he's got a boyfriend I can't talk to her I'm never gonna do that anyway I've liked this girl for like three years or two years whatever it counts but up to year nine then I find out that this 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 man has left all right so obviously I'm just gonna I'm like, oh, she's okay. She's free now. She's one of the free ones. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I eventually it got out. I can't even remember how it got out. I think I told my boys, and that was it. And obviously, they must have been dickheads and just kept telling people, like, oh, oh so and so likes this person. Ho, ho, ho. Like, this so cool. Gossip, gossip. Anyway, uh, yes, she do. eventually, yeah, eventually she found out. Um, and I can't. I don't. I have this vivid. I remember. That I had, I used to have a PewDiePie backpack. And I don't even oh, know no. why I got it. I don't even know why. I think I was just so cool back then. Like, yeah, I got PewDiePie. I got his backpack back when he was cool and shit. And then, he's like, he's cool, cool now. But, no, I just like, I don't know. Just like, part of, you know, part of that bro army. Nine year old army? No, nah, it was a like year nine army. Damn. And then, anyway, I, I remember that I was just sitting with my friends and then I remember she just, I can't even, like, she came around the corner with somebody, and he's like, oh, she she likes you too, and I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? The girl I've liked for three years has finally wanted to talk to me and date me? <laughs> or, like, I talked to her before, I meant, like, date me, so if I eventually talked to her, uh, and, and I asked her out, and she said yes, uh-huh. and it was very, I know, I know, so I think, now that I'm thinking about it, she must have been, someone must have been, I think she was just going off from boy to boy, just having some fun, just... <laughs> seeing what would happen it's only you know obviously they're not doing anything at that age but i'm just saying like uh i'll have him today okay next year i'll have him okay. anyway so she was a we... hoe. oh no she wasn't a hoe. but i'm just saying it was just like a school thing i don't know to have a boyfriend and a girlfriend i feel like you just had to have one because then it's like growing up i don't know anyway i uh had dated her and i remember we broke up uh i can't remember why uh, I think she broke up with me, and I was sad. It was like in the quarter or middle of uh, year nine. Then we, uh, she asked me out again, and I, oh, she asked me out, and I was like, yeah, oh, you know, like me being dumb, still liking her because I liked it for so long. I was like, yeah, I'll come back. 
dated her for I think like I think it was literally only like two weeks and she had enough of me already. <laughs> but I literally, I don't re- like. We didn't like. We never hanged out after school. It was like a weird relationship. We just, we always saw each other at school, um, and that was it. Yeah, but like, I tried asking her to go stuff, and she just wouldn't. So I feel like it was just a school thing. But Fair enough. Then she dated. Um, just a status oh, sorry, thing. Then, yeah. Then she broke up with me again, and then it hit the nearly the end of year nine, and she asked me out again, and she's like, "I'm really sorry for everything." And then she's like, "Would you ever take me back?" And I said, "You know what? Yeah, I would." And I remember this cringy ass message she said, and um, it was just yeah. I was just back then. Obviously, I was like, God, you know what? I'd do anything for you. <laughs> and then um, we uh like then we dated, and I remember I was just sitting with my mate at his house, and I was like, Why do I keep going back with her? Like I don't understand. Why am I like doing this? And then he's like, I don't know, man. I've told you the last two times not to. <laughs> and then I was like, True. So. I broke up with her. I ended it for once because I was like, why am I still going back with her? She's not what I always thought she was for the last two years. Wow. Kind of heartbreaking to me. And she has hated me from that year nine to year 12, still at the same school. She hated me. She never talked to me. She thought I was the worst human being on the planet. Uh, and she was very awkward to be in the same class as her. Lucky there was only like one class in year 12 and year 11 I was with her. But she just, she was one of the quiet ones near the end. Like, you know, year 12 is just like everyone becomes their own separate groups and stuff. Well, I was part of the big group because why group combined with another group, another group, and their group just stayed off in this one. You know, those people that sat behind the library, those types of people. So she was there while us, us, us boys and all the other boys were at the handball courts and at the, the footy courts, basketball. I don't, I don't know why I said footy courts, the field, <laughs> the oval. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I ended it. And then I was just like, I don't like, I don't like uh, women from my school. <laughs> um. And then I'll I'll say another funny thing. In year 10, obviously, I didn't want to date anything from... Or, or, sorry, uh, the school. Uh, Yeah, Uh, I'll cut uh, that out, don't worry. Edit that and post. Anyway, I'll get it post. Anyway, uh, the school I went to uh, was full of gronks. They were just like... There were all these these coming-of-age ladies, and they were just all fucking TN-wearing... And they all had attitudes. Anyway, I had to deal with it, because that was the only school I went to. Uh, and then I remember that there was this girl in year 10 and 11 that actually really liked me, but I thought of her as just like a best friend type of thing. Yeah. And, and that's how she treated it was like, this is what best friends do and stuff like that. And then I found out later that she like liked me and I was just like too dumb to realize because I actually had a good time with this girl and I actually like went out with her other than school, but like as a friend as, or me thinking like of that. And then she would also send me photos of her, like, not in the in the shower, but just from her head, but you could clearly she was in there, and then show her off photos and shit, and I'd be like, oh, this is what best friends do, because I'm and I didn't know that, or I'm just dumb. <laughs> and then, yeah, later I found out, and then I was talking to my friend about it, and he got like, bro, why does she send you that? And I was like, oh, because we're friends. <laughs> and then he was like, I don't send you anything like that. And I was like, that's true. Nah, because she's a girl. Uh, <laughs> you were in and, denial, basically. Yeah. But anyway, I found out, and I was like, oh, true. That sucks. What? But it doesn't You suck thought anymore. it was too too far gone at that point. Oh well, she ended up. Uh, no, there's something happened, and she ended up not being my friend anymore. But I had a Samsung, so like whenever someone would send a photo on Messenger or something, uh, it would save automatically to your phone. And I didn't know that because I was uh. like year 10, 11, and I didn't have a, like a smartphone till that year. And I so I was still figuring things out. And then somebody took my phone and went through my gallery and looked at some of the stuff, and they're like, "Oh, why do you have this?" And then she found out, and then yeah. But then I was like, I didn't do that. That wasn't my fault. And she said, why do you have them? I was like, well, you sent them to me. And she's like, why are they in your album? I was like, I don't know. Ah, uh, so then, you didn't know it saved. Fair. Yeah. So, but she didn't believe that, which, I mean, fair enough. I don't know. She would have thought I was a weirdo, but I honestly didn't know what to do. And then, but she, like, she was, again, then she ended up being one of the people that did just ended up not having that many friends. So it didn't really affect me that much. I mean, I just stayed with the boys. Then I dated the girl I am dating now, which has been five years, and that was in year 12, but she went to a different school. I met her through work. Damn, like, so you've, my experience. you've never really, like, had, like, experienced rejection then? Uh, no, because I didn't really try. I just, like, I don't know. Like, there was the one that I liked a lot, and I stopped. And then, I mean, she broke up with me, but then that was just a year nine. I don't really count it, because it's just a year nine thing. I don't really count it as a dating thing. We didn't do anything. We literally didn't even leave the school. And then there was that other girl, and then I didn't even know about it. But yeah, it's not like I tried anything because the people at my school, there. But that's why I ended up dating the girl I am now. Oh, I am with now. I'm actually curious. Did you pursue her, or did she pursue you? 
I yeah, we just ended up talking because um uh she I like she started at the same time as me, but we just ended up talking because she pulled up and then I uh, was on her L's and like, oh, what you drive now? Like just as like a, a joke thing. Like holy shit, you could like take me to work. <laughs> and she's like laughs and she's like, nah, I'm just I was just on my L's and then I was just like, yeah. Uh, she's like, ah, oh, she's like, ah, oh, I made a joke. I was like, well, you should catch up on my opens. Just a joke. And then she started talking, and then somebody said, hey, you two be cute together. And I didn't really think about it. And then I was like, hey, she's actually kind of hot. Then I just started talking to her, started Snapchat, and she's like, uh, I'm not really ready. And she's like, I like you, but I don't, I don't, it's not really for a relationship. I took her to White Christmas a week later. She's uh, my girlfriend. So. <laughs> Because if you ever that. want a girlfriend, if you ever want to uh, be in a relationship, you just take them to White Christmas, and you're done. That's it. That's a good tip, good advice. All right, Fabian, hey, you need to do that. That's the only thing. Why? Why uh, not broaden that? <laughs> Say, take her to a theme park. No, nah, we well, got to take her to a specific one. Oh, okay, At the right okay. time. All right, it's got to be Christmas, and you got to take them to a theme park. It's got to be the. That's the dealio. All yeah. right. No, that was good. Stand for a moment. No, that was good. I'm uh, glad you did. Well, what about you? Um, yeah, well, I think the first time, I don't know, like, if we're, if we're counting, like, primary school, then... Get ready, guys. He's going to count his fingers. You know, he's <laughs> such a stud. <laughs> Let me see. There's this one, this one, this one. Oh, we can't count this one. No, I think it was just two. Uh, oh, oh no. All right. Whoa. Put this on hold. Hold on. Someone's talking to me, and I can't skip it. Oh, I've got a dog. Bitch. Bro, there's cherry blossoms. Where? Bro, you... Hey, leave some of them for me, man. I want some. I want a piece. I want a crumb. Uh, what oh, should... wait, these are yours. Yeah, what should I name the dog? Uh, wait, how come you have a dog? I'm just gonna Yo, name it. No. I want a dog. Because I'm awesome. Okay. Did you guys harvest all of those? No. Oh, you left I one. Took, Thanks. I took, like, half of them. Until I realized that they weren't mine. Holy sh... Alright, can you, it, since you're taking all the f***ing plants, can you go sell them and buy more seeds? More parsnip seeds? I just seeds? put them in the box, I can't get them back. Alright, well, how, how, how much money do you have? Not enough. <laughs> buy <laughs> seeds. Alright, I'll be back. Yeah, two. Oh, closed on Wednesdays, that's bullshit. I can't buy any, ah, oh, no. Alright, tomorrow. Um... Hey, Okay, well, yeah, for me, I wouldn't really count primary school either, but it was, it was like one, there was one chick that I had a crush on that I just never really, I thought I was really obvious, but I guess I wasn't because, um, a bit recently she told me that she had a crush on me, um, back in primary school and I didn't know this and so neither of us knew, but I didn't tell her because I was like, I ain't about to put myself on blast and then the other one was like i got dead to, <laughs> to ask her out and then i did oh, and, she, and she said yes and it was kind of like because it was like primary school thing it was just like holding hands like only at school like nothing else ever happened because you know you're so young at that point you don't really know you don't know anything yeah. and then in high school um the high school i went to didn't have a lot of people from my primary school like it was pretty far away you know normally like a a primary school has like a linked high school like the one that's closest like nearby locally and it's like majority of the people from the primary school will go to that high school and there were heaps of people from the primary school next door uh that knew each other and i knew like four people everyone else knew everyone because they just spent the last seven years together and I was just like, oh, well, I only know, like, two guys and one chick. And that one chick happened to be in all of my classes. And I fell for her hard because she was the same. She was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know anyone else. So I was like, oh, well, let's figure this out kind of thing. Because we're like, oh, our class is in this building. Let's go. And we'd, like, walk together, et cetera, et cetera. And then very cliche there was like this school dance, not so much a, it wasn't like a, like slow dance. It was more like a, they play remixes of whatever popular songs were there at the moment. It was just like free dress, gr like the early grades would go. And then once you got older, you grade 10, 11, 12, you realize how dumb it was. So 
no older grades went. So it's just like this little, all these little kids dancing, running around, hyped up on sugar, basically. And that was the night where I like asked her, we were like dancing together and I asked her out and she was like, oh, I, I just want to be friends. Like, I don't want to ruin what we have. And I was like, fuck. And I told my mates and all of them got up. Her. All of them were like, how, why would you? You two would be so cute together. And then I, I didn't really, the only other person that I dated in high school wasn't a rejection. So it's not really like a, a f embarrassing story. It was just like, we started talking and then we got closer and that was it. But that first year of high school rejection, that was the worst. That was the most embarrassing. It hit hard back then when you're so small you're like oh that's the end of the world yeah. like i'll never find love <laughs> that's it yeah but no nah, nothing beyond that what about you fabian <laughs> <You're awesome. laughs> yeah so, you, ask, huh? you want to say it again yeah? huh? sorry yeah, sorry yeah, yeah. Just, just rubbing yeah. rubbing yeah. salt in the wounds yeah you want yeah man it hurts already all right don't want to die <laughs> have you been talking He's to waited. anyone He's recently purposely waited no i haven't no not even like he over text. He doesn't need anyone. Oh. oh, oh, all right. He has the gym. That's all he needs. Not. It's not something I'm looking for. Right now. That's fair. You're focusing on yourself at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that. Introverts versus extroverts. I want to know what you guys yourselves would identify yourselves as. Do you feel like you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? No. First of all, define each one again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> English for the Mexican. Yeah, so, uh, no English, no English, uh, Spanish. Hold on, let me <laughs> let me look up a, a proper definition because I feel like I'll butcher it. It's like I want to say it's just like I want to say it's just like a quiet person versus a loud person, but I'll get it up. Okay, are you ready, Fabian? You ready? I'm ready. An That's introvert it. is a person with qualities of a personality type known as introversion, which means they feel more comfortable focusing on their inner thoughts and ideas rather than what's happening externally. They'll often keep to themselves or stay by themselves and prefer spending time with just one or two people rather than large groups or crowds. Well, so, I think that already kind of describes me. <laughs> so you, you think you're more of an introvert? I think so, yeah. What's the definition for an extrovert? It's just the I opposite. Used... Oh, okay. An extrovert. Extroverts are often described as the life of the party, an outgoing, socially confident person. There's more, nah. but that's that's about it. Yeah, nah. That's, <laughs> that's not you? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I'll go with introvert. <laughs> introvert. It's like that, that me. <laughs> so, so basically, like, at a, like, you'd rather spend time either by yourself or with maybe, like, just us boys then go out or go to a party or go clubbing or whatever yeah that's yeah, very because when I, go, I yeah, feel like that's because... very bl black and white for you but i feel like yeah. for leighton it's it's kind of like there's a gray area what would you say you are oh yeah i was about to say i i feel like i'm both you're I feel both like i'm yeah i don't know i can't really like i i like being by myself and i like just having me time i really do it actually like i like it a lot just being by myself or just being with tamika that really just i don't know that's i could have a fun day just with that i could literally just have a fun day just watching movies all day I, i'm such a movie guy i love movies um but then i also is like then there's the opposite of me where i'd like i'd love to go out with like like a big group of boys and just like get pissed but then also like i don't know just all go out and do something because i like i don't know i feel i don't really know if i what i am i just feel like i'm i can have, I have both aspects like i'm a very people person because of my job i feel like that has made me they being there for seven years i think has helped me talk to people more because i used to be really shy and then helped now, your, like social skills yeah now i could just do anything to anyone i could i'm literally the most outrageous person in public if you ask these two i could do anything it's just it's just <laughs> nice i'm a i am ai just i don't know i feel like i'm just anything like i could be both like if you want to go out and have fun i'll do it and i'll wouldn't give a shit about what people think of me but then i also be at home and i could just be happy with that too so yeah i i'm the same i kind of feel like uh i could be either either i feel as though when when i'm like out with a lot of people i still have just as much fun as i would at home by myself maybe at depending on like how i'm feeling i'll i'll have more enjoyment just being alone 
but ultimately like even if i am home alone i'll never say no to like hopping on playing games with you guys like i'm never like ah oh, i i really would just rather like be by myself and same with when i'm out like whenever i'm out with surrounded by good people i i'm not like oh i, I kind of i want to go home like my my social battery is drained it's always i don't want this night to end kind of thing yeah but then it's fine either way like i i could spend all day just at home you know watching youtube watching movies same same as you like basically same thing but at the moment someone says oi come out like oi let's go do this i'm down like 100 percent of the time as long as i'm free not working then i have no reason to say no and i have no reason not to like enjoy whatever it is exactly you'd say the same about anything even say like a bad uh event a bad e- activity or a bad game even say we're playing like this sh- the sh- game if i if i'm with mates it can still be fun it can still be enjoyable same if you go out and you're like oh man why did we do this mini golf like this mini golf place is so shit but then yeah. because i'm with like a big group of people like all my friends then i'm like oh actually you know what this is this is kind of funny because you just you, you never know what could happen and exactly. it's, it's good that's... to bounce off people as well yeah all right well that's all i got but we're not exactly at the at the point yet so i'll know to make more for next time um but yeah. uh it is raining oh, really? um well do you guys th- there's two here really do you guys like avocado both of you yeah i like avocado yeah do you guys both like pineapple on pizza uh, yes no neck <laughs> Why is that? A very strange thing to go from from relationship stuff. It's like, hey, you like pineapple on pizza? Oh no! Well, I'm I'm just saying like, uh, I'm trying to buy you guys time to like think of something basically. It's a pineapple on pizza is a no, okay? Why is that? You just take. I've had it. It tastes like absolute. Shit. It does not go there. It's not meant to be there, okay? What do you I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear your reasoning, Leighton. Because look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Whoa, Wait, what whoa. is Jack's opinion? <laughs> Um, I actually uh, agree. I don't like pineapple on pizza. Oh, yeah. you guys are nerds. But, you guys uh, are nerds. Okay, oh, he, oh, oh, you don't like pineapple on pizza? Oh, you're a nerd. Here's the hey, thing, you're though. speaking like one. Oh, Here's the thing, though. I, I will eat it. Like, I don't mind it. But if there's four pizzas, one's pepperoni, one's meat lovers, one's, <laughs> like, Hawaiian, and, and the other one could be cheese, I will literally pick every other one over Hawaiian. But if there's yeah, just Hawaiian, and there's just pineapple on pizza, then I guess I'll I'll take it. My brother, if there was every pizza in the world and there was Hawaiian was there, you know I'd be busting that shit up. That shit is the it's the savory taste and the juiciness. You like, would it's, it's you important. would take you would take Hawaiian over any other pizza in the world. Bro, my combination, and this is gonna sound really weird, but I like pepperoni with pineapple. What the. That is, it's because it's the pepperoni is like that bit of spice, and then you got the cheese and the savory taste, and then you've added the juiciness of pineapple. It's so delect. It's like pineapple on our uh, burgers. That shit is so good. Chicken and pineapple. Oh my god! Then you put avo on that. Damn, that's savory. Well, like you guys on, are just picky on like burgers. Picky. Uh, like on a like anything, bro. I think pineapple is like the best fruit. Hot take. I think it's like How one about- of the best fruit. You All think right, pineapple is the best tomato. fruit? I said it's one of the best fruit. Okay, wh- I think. Yeah. Be- best fruit then. Best fruit go. Oh, well, like grapes. I think grapes are the best. You think grapes are the best? Grapes are apples. And grapes are definitely top three. I reckon. I like yeah. Well, I don't. I don't like bananas. So that's also come a guy that doesn't like bananas. So. Uh, I'd I'd still put grapes above bananas, but bananas would be like top five maybe. All right. How how about this? How about this fruit tier list? One one to ten. We need a video where we no. We need a video where we have all the fruits. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, top ten well known fruits. What do you mean? Just off the top of your head, what are your favorites? Yeah. These are what. This will help help me remember. All right. How about we'll just do top five, so you don't have to like top five. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at a list of fruit that I normally have. All right. I would say number five 
would probably be. I don't know. It'd probably be okay. It'd probably go strawberries. Uh, like mandarin oranges. I kind of count them nearly the same. I don't know. Like they're kind of the same. I would go strawberries, oranges, and mandarins. Uh, maybe apple. Just go. Wait, is it avocado number five? Or fruit? Number five, right now. No, number five, strawberries. Number four. Uh, and mandarins and oranges. So the oranges. Number three. Uh, well, I'm trying to think. That's what. I'm, that's the only thing that's like I don't have like a. Um. I would probably put mangoes. Mangoes. All right, number two. Uh, it would be. Oh, actually, okay. It'd go mangoes, grapes, then watermelon. Watermelon. I forgot about watermelon. Watermelon, top tier. Oh wait, I didn't even tell pineapple. Bro, I'm. I <laughs> uh, see. I need like a. I'm. I'm. I'm dumb. I need like a, a thing right in front of me, and I need to put it somewhere. But those those fruit, pineapple, watermelon, grapes, top three done. That's top three. Pineapple, watermelon, grapes. What about you, Fabian? Well, oh, top five. Okay, number five. Top three. Oh, top no, three. do do five. Do top five. Oh, I need to think more now. Okay. Bro, you uh, had that whole time to think. All right, I'll go because right. I've I've kind of I kind of got something prepared after like hearing you so i would put a genuinely tied because okay so watermelons watermelon's pretty good but there's there's like a very high chance that sometimes it's really sweet and sometimes it's just like very plain if that makes sense it completely yeah. completely depends on on the uh on the watermelon itself and i also want to say like the same with uh the same sort of sense with grapes and strawberries because grapes and strawberries can either be really sweet or really sour. I like them both. Like I don't mind either way, but I I prefer when they're really sweet. So I'd say I'd probably put strawberries at number one, honestly. Strawberries are really strawberries good. Strawberries are the best. Yeah. Add strawberries and you dip them in sugar. When huh? I have diabetes. What? Dip them have in you sugar. A, yeah. Oh. Like, like icing sugar? No, raw sugar. Oh, what the fuck? No, just raw sugar. Or what? any sugar. Yeah, no, nah, we don't try it. It's actually pretty I've, good. I've done like, uh, I've dipped in chocolate, but never. Yeah, I've dipped it in chocolate of sugar. What? No, it's actually pretty good. Try it. Yeah, I might. I don't know if that's just a thing uh, that you do. Like, Chen, you'll eat anything. I know you'll <laughs> like it. Sugar with strawberry. I'm not saying it's a thing. I'm just saying try it. Like, I've had it. It's good. I, I feel like. It's 2022, like, everything is a thing. Like, nah, someone's done weird. it. Alright, buddy. Did you, <laughs> did you buy, uh, you buy any, any seeds? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been too busy talking. <laughs> well, you should go do that. You should what both go do that. What time is it close? At I don't five. Know. Well, I think you, you can make it. Closer. You can make There's it. There's more of those radish things. I don't things. know if I'm going to be able to do. You can make it. I believe in you. What was I going to say? Yeah, I'd, I'd put strawberries, number one. Grapes number two, you know I love a good apple, but I'd I'd probably put strawberry, grapes, watermelon, apple, banana. I don't know. It's like it's basic. Uh, nothing else is coming to my head. I feel like that's not like a that's not a concrete Always list, left. huh? Ah, uh, we can't get in. No rip. That's not like a a concrete list, but like off the top of my head, thinking of like the fruits that I eat most commonly, I'd say number one, strawberry, number two, grapes, number three, watermelon, number four, apple, number five, banana. That's my list. Bananas are okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't right. know. They're just, there's really easy, like with smoothies and that. Yeah, and I have banana with smoothies, smoothies. But if I just have it by itself, it's, it's all right. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. That's fair. That's fair. Um, what about you? What's your list? Me, number five would probably be mandarins and oranges. I really like those. Yeah. Four, I'll probably put grapes. I always enjoy a bunch of grapes. Those are always, always good. Three, uh, I'll, I'll go watermelon. I've always, I've always liked watermelon, regardless if it's like plain or sweet. It's I always enjoy watermelon. I, so, I don't think I've ever had a like a memory of having watermelon and it tasting bad. Yeah. And then number two, I don't know. Uh, I'm a, I'm actually kind of like I'm a, I'm into pears actually. Pears? Yeah. That's new. I feel like pears have a very weird texture. 
Yeah, no, they kind of, like, the first day I didn't, I didn't like them, but then I got used to them and I actually enjoyed them. Fair enough. Not saying that I have them too often, but every time I have them, they're always good. And then number one is, well, strawberries. But they're so expensive. <laughs> they are, they're hella expensive. But they're so good. They are. I'm surprised, um, uh, no one said, like, oh, actually, Leighton, you said mangoes, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, everyone, everyone craves, uh, raves on about, um, mangoes, but I, um, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I like yeah. the, the smell of them, but I don't know, the taste ain't, ain't it for me. Mangoes are mid. <laughs> you think so? Hey, mango flavored shit, like mango flavored tea and shit, like ice tea. Smoothies, boost. Yeah, yeah. mango boost. Well, that's kind of like, for a lot of people, that's like tomato sauce. Tomato and tomato sauce. Lexington just hates tomato in general. Yeah, it's Nah, it's good, bro. Says Mr. Pineapple on pizza. Doesn't like a tomato. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, okay. Explain that. Explain that. Explain that. Oh, I just got an eel. Hey, check out the eel. Yeah. yeah. See this Looks eel? like a snake. Oh, well, it's an deep, eel. That's it. <laughs> My mistake. Yeah. Good. I just, I've only caught a sardine and that's it. Unlucky. Welcome to bed. Shut up, stop sleeping in my bed, head ass. I was here first. Alright, does anyone else have like a, a hot take? One one more like, I don't know, relationship or or personality related. I am the last person you want to ask anything that's relationship based. Alright, Leighton. I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh... Trying to gather my last brain cells together. Oh, I've got one. Uh, when do you think it's appropriate to have a joint account? Ooh. I feel like... Ooh, that's tough. I feel like when yeah. you plan to move out together, maybe. Or when you are moved out together. Yeah, see, I think that's a good... But, like, like that, that I understand. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just, like... Because, obviously, you should have your own savings. Yeah. But... That's why I don't think you should do it. Like, I know, I've known people that have gotten a joint account, like, straight away in year 12. They've literally been dating, like, six months, and they had a joint account. Yeah, see, I and don't... And they broke up. Yeah, see, I don't get that. Unless you you have, like, a sole purpose that's, like, near, you really don't have any reason. If if you, are like, just met a person, and you're like, oh, you know, soon, soon we're, we're going to, you know, so-and-so. It's like, oh, well shouldn't you have like a can't you just like both buy that you know if you go into like a concert maybe it's like can't you just you know both save and and pay for that yourselves but if it's like a a house or maybe like a trip you know overseas somewhere then i then i understand because it's like holy shit that's a lot of money and you really do need to like try to put that aside to be able to do that yeah but when did you get it or do you have a joint account uh, the only thing we have joint is like, it's it's kind of like she can't access it only i can access it but we just put money we both have a shared account for saving to move out because we're very close we just save all year and we're uh just putting we're shoveling money into it so that we have both have enough to buy a house put a mortgage deposit on mm. um but only i can access it but it's not like i like like she just trusts me like she doesn't care she she trusts me like she just shoves Gives me, sends me the money, I put it in the account, and then I shove my money in that account. And we track it on a whiteboard, uh, how much we put in every week, so we know who's is who. So it's fair. Uh, right. But it's not like I take any of her money. So, so when you say, like, you access it, you mean, like, as in, she can't put any money in either. She has to send it to you, then you put it in. She can, it sends, sorry, she's, it sends directly to the other account. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And so, like, I was the one that was like, hey, we're using my account. She just offered because she thinks my bank is better fair enough what's your opinion oh, yeah. fabian do you reckon you'll ever have oh, a shared account go. probably maybe when you've like been together for a while and then you kind of like decided like oh yeah you have like a plan i guess how long's a while for you i don't know man that's the thing though i can't say anything because out of experience i literally have none well so i couldn't be able to tell you if you had to say would it be based on a feeling or time like, do that, would you say you have to reach a certain point of time or just, like, get to know the person? Probably have to be some time. Because everything, because anything can change over that certain amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. 
So, but then again, that's that's just my opinion. I can't say if that's like the right or. Yeah, I feel like you really have to know like the person inside and out. Because if there's like any secrets or like anything you don't know about, there's no like, d you definitely don't want to trust. Like, yeah. Finances with that person, and yeah. I don't know if I'm just talking out of my ass here, but I'm I'm pretty sure I have heard that like the leading cause of divorce is normally financial issues so to just go and be like oh yeah shared account like yeah let's do it i feel like that can become really ugly really fast if if you're not uh like prepared or, yeah or not um not a uh, fully committed to the relationship yeah no look can happen yeah exactly anything can happen really i don't know that's that's my two cents anything else oh uh... All right. Yeah, not on my side. Well, in that case, this has been a very, like, I don't know, a very deep, a deep and not deep at the same time. We've been talking about fruits and we've been talking about life. So uh, <laughs> I think that's a, a good mix. But uh, yeah. any any very final any final words? Like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Turn those hey, make sure you check on. Out the, make sure you check out the animation channel. Yeah, true. The main channel. All right, all right. Let me let me do that, guys. All right. No, no, no. We got it. We got it. No, we got no, it. No, we're better than you. We got to say it for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Better. Go ahead. You do the outro then. I don't know how to do that. What's an outro? <laughs> Just literally. <laughs> huh? You talking to me? Literally saying goodbye and then. Yeah, yeah. I baby, I know, head ass. Oh, okay. Then say it. <laughs> oh, so you know. All right. Let's go, smart ass. All right, Jack. Jack, uh, you, you want to wrap it up? <laughs> all right, that's all for this podcast. Know. What the f***, man? Why, <laughs> <laughs> why start Make sure you're okay. You don't need to cough your lungs out. You start talking. Why can't you just wait one second longer? That's twice now. Uh, you want me to scratch the mic again? Huh? <laughs> no. All right, where are you, Fabian? I need to be next to you to do this. I catch up one second. I, just need to, um, I almost got this fish. Bro, I need this fish. You need that fish? I need it, man. I almost got it. Oh, oh, please. Oh, ah! Got it. Eight nice. inches. Let's go. Eight inches. God damn. Eight, Eight inches. Yeah, you heard me. That's 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 pretty big. Yeah, I know. All right, I guess that wraps things up for this postcast. If you guys enjoyed and you're watching this on the Postman Plus channel, be sure to subscribe because there'll be plenty more podcasts in the future. And be sure to check out my animation channel. That's my main channel. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Say bye, guys. Bye-bye.